This tutorial is on the use of the export button found in Song Surgeon. When you click the export button you will note that there are three different options available to you and we're going to cover each of those briefly. The first is the export of the current loop. What that means is that a current loop is a loop that you have selected by placing the progress indicator within that loop. So for example, if you click down here on the timeline within this loop area, you will see that the white progress indicator is inserted at that point. That designates this loop as the current loop. If you were to move it to here or over here to this third loop, then that would be the current loop. But that is how Song Surgeon knows which loop is the current loop. And when you select the current loop then, what it does is it will export just the data in this loop, because I have this selected as the current loop right now, and it will export that data with whatever settings you have applied to the data within that loop. So in this particular case, just for illustration purposes, I look down here, the pitch hasn't been changed, but the tempo has been changed to 75%. So it would export this data here, which looks to be about 10 to 15 seconds of data at a pace uh, or a tempo of 75%. And that's all it would export from this file. But remember, when we export, you're going to be saving this. And let's just go ahead and select current loop. You're going to be saving this as um, some type of an audio file. You're not going to be saving it as a project file. So that means, and in this case I have a WAV file selected, that means that you're going to be exporting it in a way that those files will be permanent. So you can thereafter open it in any video player, move it to an iPod, uh, burn it to a CD, and when you play it again, it will play with that change as part of the original file. In other words, in this particular case, 75%. The second option here is to export all loops, and that's self-explanatory to a great extent. That means that when we have this entire 3 minute and 40 second song open, it's going to export and save only these three loops. And when it does that, it's essentially going to put these three loops of data back to back. So it's going to basically remove the data to the left and to the right of each of these loops. And you're going to have one loop followed by this loop right on top of it, followed by this loop right on top of it. So it will export and save only those three loops. But when it does, it will retain the settings that you've applied to each of those loops. So for example, in this case, this first loop is at 50%. This second loop is at 100%, but the pitch has been changed by four half steps. And again, in this case, this third loop is at 75%. So it will export only these three loops, but it will retain the settings that you've applied to each of the loops. The third option then is to export the entire song. And again, it's fairly self-explanatory, but I need to probably add a couple of details. And that is when you export the entire song, it will do exactly that. It will export everything that you see on your screen. And any changes that you've made in this song will become permanent. So for example, if you had previously highlighted an area and deleted it, which I'm going to do right now for you, um, if you had done that, then when you go to export it, that part of the song would be missing but it will export the entire file which means that it will also export these loop areas and it will export the data within those loop areas with whatever changes you've applied to them. So when you export it you will have an entire song with all of those changes applied and when you open it and play it in any other player it doesn't have to be Song Surgeon. Um, the modified song as you see it and hear it on the screen in front of you will be what you get when you create this new file by using export. So that's a brief explanation of how the export button works and what it does.